in spring training. He appeared in six ball games, 0 and 1, with a 4.86 earned run average. He was 1 and 4 with the Cardinals, 1 and 0 with the Yankees. Of course, he had a couple of good years with the Mets back in the early 80s. Had 22 saves with New York in 1980. See if we can run through some of the defensive changes for you. Tim Hewitt has moved from second to third base. Thomason from third to short. Nichols will play second base, and Mark Hill has moved in behind the plate. And Rob Deere steps up to the plate as we go to the ninth inning with the Brewers ahead 5-2. to two. Neil Allen's first pitch is a strike to Deere. We saw each other in the National League last year. Rob is homered and single. He's also struck out two out of three. Neil Allen with the pitch. Fastball. No one two. He buzzed it right now. Yeah, he's got a blazing fastball, too. He's got a good one. Control has been his problem yep. the past couple of years. Here's the 0-2 on the way. Breaking ball, a strike. He dropped it right over the knees in the outside corner. And four straight Brewers have gone down on strikes. Well, he had pretty good control of this one. Good pitch right at the knees. So Household will be the batter. He drove in a run with a single back in the sixth inning. Schmidt struck out Molitor to start off the eighth. The Gusto came in, got Robito and Riles, and now Allen with Deer here in this inning. He's high with this offering to Householder. One ball, no strikes. Allen with the pitch. Bounce foul. I tell you, the St. Louis fans were tough on Allen. He came over to deal for Keith Hernandez, who was a favorite there. And then got off to a bad start to boot, and he was never accepted. Swung on, fly ball, left field. Fisk is there. And he has it for the out, two down. Augusto worked two thirds of an inning, struck out both men that he faced. The White Sox in their ninth will send up Mark Hill, John Cangelosi, and Wayne Thomason. Swung on, foul back. Up there with two away. Neil Allen with the kick. The pitch is low for a ball. We've gone to the ninth now with Cleveland still in front of Baltimore. It's a 6 4 ball game. Here's the offering taken low and inside. 126 pitches for Teddy Aguera. Tom Seaver through 81. You said he'd made a few pitches, Mike, and you were right. That's enough for opening. Yeah, game. that's more than normal for seven innings for Higuera. Fouled by Ganter. Two balls, two strikes. Hey, you know, he, he probably went a lot longer than he could have on a cold day, too. And when you throw that many pitches, you on a day like today, you can stay loose. And he fouled it off his foot. Two balls, two strikes. Dodgers have taken a one nothing lead over the Padres. That ball game of the third. Now the fourth inning, San Diego at Los Angeles. Dodgers batting in the fourth, winning one nothing. Breaking ball that is tapped. The first baseman has it. Flips to Allen. Close play. They get him. A sliding Gantner, and Allen is upended on the play. So in the inning, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. 